Okay, student, today is the last day of uh, this uh, topic of uh, logarithmic functions and exponential functions. So the question is, how do we use logarithmic function in the real life? What is log has got to do with the real life situation? Why it is being used? So, the, so there will be a <coughs> few, uh, few of those I'm going to show today. That is, one is, okay, I already wrote here, so the main problem that we will be dealing with is uh, loudness of sound as I'm speaking to you. So you have already heard in science decibels. So decibel is how loud is Mr. Zello or how loud you're talking, right? You may be talking among yourself. Uh, if anybody is using phone, please put it away. We will appreciate that. Thank you. <coughs> so the second part is the earthquakes, right? You know, people are dying in, in Turkey and Syria. You saw the recent earthquake happened, I think, 10 days back. 40,000 people died, and the scientists, they, the seismo, seismologists started trying to figure out, hey, how do we know this? How do we know earthquake, uh, how big compared to the other places? So then they started saying, okay, let's use this 10 raised to one, 10 raised to two, something like uh, 10, everything in the power of 10. So most of these three examples are actually, one the last one is the pH of a solution. What is pH? Our blood, okay, we say the doctor's first when you go to your hospitalized, they always check your pH of your blood. It has to be seven. Anything below and high is like, low is like, oh, acidity. Uh, too much of acidity. High is like low acidity. So something like that, we will see a few problems. Then the main, if we forget anything so far, what we did last three, four weeks, this is what we are, uh, what I want you to remember is, hey, what is log of the base? Log of x to the base b is like asking a question, how many times you multiply b itself to get that x? Do you remember that? Every time I said that, Tatiana, do you remember? Cesar, Marcus, Daniel, do you remember? I said, how many times do you multiply this b to get to that? And that's basically the same thing, b raised to the exponent y is x. Now look at, look at the color coding I use. Pink color is right here. Then the x here, see how it is? So the input output, changes to, so here the, this input changes to output here. This output is the input, so it's like uh, an example, and I always give this example to all my other students is, hey, if I want, if I forget what is logarithm of a to the base two, and you don't know, just question yourself, how many times do you multiply two to get to eight? Quick, quick, let's go quickly. How many times do you multiply two to get to eight? Four? Two times two? It's like how many twos are multiplied? I think it's a like this, correct, right? Three, so that's all it is, right? So what that means is this two, this two which is the base raised to this three is eight because two, two, two is eight, agree? That's all it is. Now, let's go back to this straight away. Uh, that's the definition part. And I wanted to make sure we also get this. Whenever the pink color is used as a 10, 10 is the most important number. So, this 10, because most of these earthquakes and uh, the talk we are talking, how loud we are, or maybe the pH of the solution is based on the number 10. So they use the log or the sum of 10. If you see those, yeah, the yellow calculator that you see, uh, uh, right here, if you see the yellow calculator, the LOG right here, it means the base is 10. Even though it doesn't say it is 10, it is 10. Now if I write log 10 to the base 10 raised to 5, the answer is stated with 5. Correct? Nobody is listening. Are you listening? So 10 raised to how many 5, how many 10s do I multiply to get to 10 raised to 5? Five only, right? Make sense? Hundred thousand? What is what is ten, uh, ten raised to five means? And one zero 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 zero, correct? Hundred thousand. So, so this is hundred thousand, which is directly answer is five. Or we can also write this this five this the top five. Can you see this top five? It's basically using whatever that these two numbers are same. The answer is the same thing. Five straight away. Or you multiply this by right here. So 5 times log 10 to the base 10. 
So whenever the whenever this the base is the same as the number here, the answer is one. Finally, there is another formula we say if there are two logs like this with the plus sign. Oh, I, I, I made a mistake here. You multiply those two things so n times n. So if there is a separate logarithm like this, you can always multiply it. I can give an example. Look at this example. I wanted to copy this. Please copy this quickly. So let's see why this is okay. Suppose I say logarithm of a to the base two plus logarithm of four to the base two is logarithm of and now I want to multiply because the formula says you just multiply those two. So a times four to the base two x. So do you believe this? Do you agree with this? Okay, <coughs> what's the answer for the first one? How many times do we multiply two to get to a? Three, right? How many times do we multiply Two to get to four? Twice, right? How many times do you multiply two to get to thirty two? You say five? Agree? Five? Two times two is four times two is eight, eight times two is sixteen, sixteen times two is thirty two, right? That's five. So this is five, right? But then do you agree with this? What is three plus two? And that means this is true. That's, that's correct. It makes sense, right? Not just somebody told, and you can clearly see that works. And same thing is this minus. If you have a minus log of whatever that is, uh, I'm using this part. It is five. You can bring it down here. So this is like a minus one. Whenever you this minus, it's like minus one. And this minus one can be taken as a power of x where x raised to negative 1 is drop it down, make a fraction. So whenever there is a negative exponent is a fraction. Let's go straight away with this uh, main fundamentals as how can we use this. Okay. So I hope you guys have uh, copied this question and this is about the scale. Look at the scale. This is logarithmic scale. I call it a, this is called logarithmic. Can you write down this? Logarithmic scale to, <coughs> to write down I mean, to write down what uh, how, how loud any sound is so by just looking at it you know as I'm speaking to you right now maybe I li I'm a little loud now, right now but the normal conversation that you have when you discuss talk to your friend outside anywhere is is 10 raised to 5 now, who gave this number? So the mathematicians who were studying this sound, they said, okay, let's say, start with this 10 raised to five, and that's the normal talking, everybody talks. But the moment Tatiana and uh, Jalen speaks, that's 10 raised to two. Can you see that whispering thing, 10 raised to two? Watch this, okay? These are the only, like, these are the means like in our life, right? Oh, if you are whispering, it is 10 raised to two, so what they did is, uh, if it is two, you just multiply a 10 there, can you see that? So 20 decibels. If it is 10 raised to five, then you just multiply that five to 10, it becomes what? 60 decibels. So the normal discussion that we have is 60 decibels. Uh, it doesn't show us much here, but there's another slide which shows firecrackers and you know, different sounds in there. But this one gives you limited, uh, like the, this is a mixer, right? In the kitchen, you grind that sound, that irritating sound. <laughs> That's like 10 raised to 10, which is a noisy kitchen over the 100 decibels. Is it not cool to know this? Nobody saying it. Is it okay so far? And finally, this is the jet engine, which that loud sound of jet engines make, that it's 10 raised to 12. So the loudest sound, you know, those is maybe there's one example where the whale in the ocean does very uh, high decibel sound. 
you know whale right in the ocean those big whales and they, they make loud sound it travels through the water that's like hey, that's one kind of a i call it stupid sound but i see that the discovery channel okay let's see, go directly to the problem and see how we use this let's do the decibel part first So I hope you have taken note because I may forget. Remember the, the, the trick is how do you get from 10 base to 3 to 30 is the formula is right here. So this is the thing. So first we'll, we'll, only, we'll only talk about the sound is the loudness of sound is 10 times. This is 10. 10 times the intensity. These numbers are called relative intensity compared to what you are talking right now which is 10 raised to 5 is our normal talking. So you just, with, with relative to 10 raised to 5, the rest are major. So basically this part, 10 raised to 5, if I put I is, in I stands for that intensity. The top number stands for the relative intensity. The bottom number stands for what decibels. So all you do is, the 10 raised to 3 is you just multiply 10 to the exponent this. So how did you get this 60? Is because remember this is, this one is 10, base is 10, and then i here. So the i is 10 raised to 5. So this i will be 10 raised to 5, and 5 times this so it's a 6, I'm sorry. This is 6, right? So when it is 10 raised to 6. 6 gets multiplied to 60, that's all it is. Make sense? Okay. Now, question is, where are the problems? Look at this. There is one problem. And I don't want you to copy everything. There's too much of stuff going in this slide. Look at this. Uh, there are more information about fireworks. So the fireworks is around 130 uh, decibel. Car racing is 100. Parades are 80. I think you must have attended the parade last time, the rodeo parade. They are also loud. That's like the anti decibel. Uh, movies in the theater, you go to Hawkins and you're in the park place in Broadway, that's 90 decibel. They, they put so loud, you know, I hate that sound. Then concerts, maybe you attend big con concerts, that, those are like 75. Now let's see the question. I want you to copy quickly this part, only this part. Can you copy this? Question one, right one. Solve 130 So 130 equals 10 times log r to find what are you what are you figuring out relative intensity of a fireworks display with the loudness of 130 decibels. So you already they gave us the 130 decibels. The question is, what is the relative intensity? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy down the right here. So 130 equals 10 times logarithm of 10 to the base r. Write down this quickly. Hey. Hey. I have to give you four again. Dang, that threatening, all right? Is that a, is that a threat? Okay. So first of all, the fireworks. Look at this fireworks. Can you see this? President's Day, Fourth July. Oh, that sound come. It's like 130 decibels. So the question is. What is the relative intensity here? How do we figure out that? So which one is that? The previous slide, remember, where does it go on the, over here? Sorry. So where does this go here? 130. You see, I have until 10 raised to 12. Do you see this 10 raised to 12? So if you go this way, this will be 130, right? Makes sense. So this will be what, 10 raised to? But this is by just looking at it, by visual. But actually, how do we solve this? First step, number one, divide 10 both sides. Can you divide 10 both sides? Let's get it uh, kind of 
What ima imagine if we don't know this, right? So we can divide the 130 by 10, and also 10, uh, 10 divided by 10. This will be this 10 goes away, and you get logarithm of 10 to the base to, to the the relative intensity. So far, so good. And then use the formula. Which formula? From log. How do we change from log to the exponential? If you, if you compare this, if you compare this, the r that you see in the log form, can you see this is log form? That's x. Okay. The the b, the pink color that you see, is the this 10. Nobody say yes or no. You see that? And the green color that you see in the formula is 13. No. You see how I'm what I'm trying to show? And your final answer, what is your final answer? So how do you change from logarithm to the exponential? How do we write? What is B here? Hmm? Yeah. 10, right? Okay, very good. So I have to write 10, and then what do you write? 10 raised to? 10 raised to the green color, which was here, right? 30? Equal, what should I write? It was, it was my mistake, it should have been what? The R, right? So R stands for the relative relative intensity. How intense is the sound? So that part is and we say okay. That's it. We're done. So this is then they already gave you the decibels is uh, can we figure out the relative intensity. The next question is, uh, this one, the next question is, there's another one. I want you to try it yourself. Let's, I want to uh, just copy this and you can do it during CCP time. Okay? Just copy this. This is about Sol 775 and how do you do that part? With the, this is about the concert with the loudness of 75 decibels. So if it is 75 right here, you can clearly see this is 75. So what is the, and, the, and why I want to show this is, the, the last question is connected to this. So if you see the last question, how many times more intense is the fireworks than the concert? So both are shown. This was the problem on fireworks. This is the problem is on concert. And, and you want to compare the intensity. So what I will do is let's do it together. So this is the first answer. Okay. The second, so this was the first one. And the second one is about the concert. They give me like this, so let's copy that quickly. And I want to show this. So 75 equals 10 times logarithm. And I will call this as, because the first one is about the fireworks, so this R is for the F, I'll put. The next one I'm putting is for the concert, C. The C stands for concert. So again, divide. So divide by so the, both side by ten. Okay. So this ten goes away, and this is seven point five in decimal. So it log of and the RC. Remember that is intensity of concert. And then you write the same thing like this. 
So it becomes 10 raised to the 75, this part, 7.5 equals the blue color, the RC. Nobody say yes. Did you get something at least? Yes or no? So the three, four weeks that we spent maybe on X, the whole unit was, what the hell we are doing? Why are we doing all this? At least now we need to know, okay, it is applied in real life. So the, the very first problem about the sum, the next one we'll be doing on uh, the earthquakes. Got it? Whatever we are doing. Your friend in this thing? Kimberly? Okay, and finally the third question is you want to compare. Now when I say compare the fireworks, so the fireworks, you want to compare the intensity, the, the relative intensity, look at this. So you're comparing, what is the comparing means? Compare basically means the ratio, ratio of uh, intensity for the fireworks divided by intensity of the concept. Just take the ratio. So you want to know how much, how much more is fireworks intensity compared to the concert. Of course, concert is a little less noisy, but fireworks are too much. And you can see that's 30. So what do we do is, okay, you got this thing, plug it in. You got this thing, plug it in. See this? Nobody say yes. Let's plug it in and do our regular maths. So this one is 10 raised to 13 divided by, what is that one? 10 raised to 7.5. And remember, whenever you have a quotient of power, so quotient of power, write 10 only once and subtract this 13 minus 7.5. Can you tell me what is 13 minus 7.5? 8, is it 5.5? Check. Nobody saying yes. And to figure out the last, end, we end this, I just want to show you really this one problem. But let's check if I want to, if I want to figure out in that models, uh, let's put this in, in the calculator. You want to know what is 10 raised to 5.5? So you put 10 raised to the power 5.5. This is the answer that you get. What is 10 raised to 5? So you get the answer as 3,316,000. So let's write that and we finish it off. This is 316228 output. In other words, the fireworks is 316228 times R6. So much intense. So I hope this one example will help. I will continue with the more problems uh, on, on the next video. Thank you so much. So the question is, did you get this?